I always advise for this sort of question to write down the following formula, the fact that the new is equal to the original times the multiplier. And then recognize what we're being given. So we are being given the, um, the new value, which is 2,400. And we are being told that it was 20% more than this holiday. So that means my multiplier is 1.2. And then I don't know what the original is. That's what I want to work out. Let me call it X. Now I see that it's a reverse percentages problem. And I'm actually going to need to do 2,400 divided by 1.2. This is a decimal division, so I would change it to 24,000 divided by 12 by multiplying top and bottom by 10. And then I can do 12 into 24, which go nicely twice, and then I'm left with this. So I can see that's how much she spent. She spent less, um, and it's 2,000 pounds. Now, if you didn't like this multiplier way, that's okay but you do have to recognize still that it's a reverse percentages problem. So you will need to say something like the fact that um, 100, we've got our original value, which we don't know. And then we've got the value after we've increased it by 20%, that's 120% in total, and that's 2,400. We could work out what 1% is by dividing by 120 and that will give us 20. So I've just basically divided through by 120. And so if I want to get back up to 100%, I can then times through by 100 to give me the answer of 2000. So um, I advise this way, but this way does work as well if you prefer.